Right folks and um, welcome to the channel and um, in today's video it's new guitar day so let's check this out so yeah folks it's new guitar day I don't know if you can see they're sneaking behind me <laughs> so yeah what guitar did we get well if you've read the uh, the title of this video you, you'll know but yeah we've got a Dean Razorback the Cemetery Gates edition now at least I found this on eBay I wasn't really looking but it was a bargain it's in really good condition there's an absolutely it's actually like brand new and uh, yeah got it from a from a guy on eBay got it for a really good price and it came with a hard case and from what he from what he told me if uh, if this is true i think it was some sort of impulse purchase and he uh he just put it he just played it a few times put it away in the case and apparently it's been there for the last couple of years so as far as i know these could even be the original strings that are on it i've not done anything to it not done any set of it's as i bought it a couple of days ago from the specs i've read online it's a mahogany body mahogany neck I think it's a neck, it's either a neck through or one piece, I'm not sure, actually it might even be a set neck. Rosewood fingerboard, black hardware, uh, Seymour Duncan dime bucket in the bridge, and uh, a Dean hung bucket in the, uh, in the neck position. So, without further ado, let's see what this bad boy sounds like. So, the signal path is... The Dean Razorback. Uh, that's going into my uh, Guptech grinder, the Devil V edition. <laughs> into the Joy Old EQ. And we just had to use this amp, the Randall T2. Into my Jet City cab with the Eminence speaker, mic'd up with an SM57 and the Behringer XM8500. <laughs> And at the minute, I've got this tuned to uh, to E flat, so everything's half a step down. I'm not good at doing the dime squeals, although up to now I've found this guitar easier to do dime squeals on than the uh, the other Dean, the, uh, the the Dean from Hell. But yeah, as you can see, it's got this absolutely beautiful finish on it. Hello. <laughs> it's the Cemetery Gates edition. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to see it there. Ooh. Where's it going? There it is. We've got the uh, the Dean from Hell there, and we've got. Let's see if I can get that out of the light. Dime razor blade and the razor blade on the twelfth fret. <laughs> And we'll try and butcher some dime bag riffs as well. I'm not going to play too many though. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not uh, suffering that uh, indignance. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Sounds like on some high gain tones. So I flicked it over onto the clean channel, flicked it over onto the uh, the neck pickup, and let's do a couple of cleans. Thank you. 
guitar, yeah? There you go, folks. That's my new guitar, new guitar day. The Dean Razorback Cemetery Gates Edition. <coughs> now, it's not going to be a review. It's just, just thought I'd do a video and show it off. <laughs> now, the action on it is absolutely fantastic. Really low action on it. But it does need a little bit of a setup. Like I say, the, the guy just not played it for two years, as far as I know. It's been locked in the case for two years. So it does need a little bit set up. The strings actually still feel quite new. But the, the Floyd Rhodes isn't flat. It's sort of arched backwards. So that needs looking at. And uh, when I get some of my skull strings on, <laughs> I'll tune it down to, down to D standard, get everything to the way I like it. And if you want to see a video of me setting this up, especially with it being the Floyd... Let me know in the comments. If not, I'll just go ahead and do it. It looks and feels absolutely brand new. I, say, I don't think it's been played much at all up until now. And yeah, you're definitely going to be seeing this in a hell of a lot of videos. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And if you want to grab yourself some Evil Wizard merch, there's a link to the merch store down in the description. But that's all for this video. I'll catch you on the next one. Right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. You can follow me on social media and you can get my music online. And if you want to support the channel, there's uh, Buy Me A Coffee and PayPal links. They're all down in the description. Click up here to subscribe and click the link down there for videos that you may not have seen. Keep it loud and keep it heavy.